Dyslexia, the most common type of learning disability, affects an estimated 9-12% of school-aged children all over the world. The condition often makes it hard for these kids to decode and remember the written text, resulting in poor performance in reading comprehension, spelling, and writing skills, and that's just in school. As someone who works with students on a daily basis, you can help dyslexic students overcome these challenges by following looking at these seven ways to help students with dyslexia in the classroom. 1. Phonics-based reading program. A phonics-based reading program is one of the best ways to help a student with dyslexia learn to read. This type of program teaches students the sound that each letter makes and how to blend those sounds together to form words. It is important to find a program that is specifically designed for students with dyslexia, as they often require a different approach than other students. 2. Guided Reading Programs A guided reading program is a great way to help students with dyslexia in the classroom. This type of program provides structure and support for students as they read. It also allows them to work at their own pace, which can be helpful for students who struggle with reading. 3. Alternative Writing Systems Many people with dyslexia find traditional writing systems difficult to use. However, there are a number of alternative writing systems that can be used to help these individuals. Some of these include Kanji, Japanese, Glyphics, Egyptian, Congruent, Chinese. It is important for teachers to understand how students are experiencing difficulties so they can accommodate their needs accordingly. 4. Developmental Intervention Developmental intervention is a process that helps children who are behind in their development catch up to their peers. It's important to start intervention as early as possible because the brain is most plastic, able to change, during the first five years of life. Early intervention can make a big difference in a child's outcome. 5. Word Mastery Centers Create a word mastery center where students can work on building their vocabulary. This can be a physical space in the classroom or an online resource. B. Make sure that the center is well stocked with materials that are appropriate for students of all levels. C. Encourage students to use the center as often as they need to, and provide plenty of opportunities for practice. D. Use labels and visuals around the room, so that students know which words to spell before they begin. For example, what letter goes here? E. Put reminders around the room like posters or sticky notes, asking children to stop by the center before moving on to another activity. E.g. Visit your word mastery center before you leave. F. Provide assistance with spelling if needed. G. Monitor how much time each student spends at the Word Mastery Center by marking how many minutes they spend working on it each day. 6. Visual Strategies Many students with dyslexia benefit from visual strategies and tutorials. Here are 7 ways you can help students with dyslexia in the classroom use visuals. If a student is struggling with reading, use charts, graphs, or pictures for explanations. Label everything. Put labels on desks, shelves, cabinets, doorknobs, anything you can think of. Label your items so that they are easy to find and read. Limit distractions. Reducing distractions will allow students who have difficulty focusing their attention on tasks at hand to have an easier time completing tasks. Allow for movement. Movements like handshakes or jumping jacks may help focus attention on the instruction being delivered by the teacher. For students who struggle staying seated for long periods of time, consider providing a balanced ball chair or rocking chair. 7. Collaborative Learning Collaborative learning is a great way to help students with dyslexia in the classroom. It allows them to work with their peers and get support from them when needed. It also helps them stay organized and on track. Plus, it can be a lot of fun. Here are some tips for making collaborative learning work in your classroom. Have one or two children share a computer so they can take turns typing or reading aloud what they're working on. It's also helpful if you pair each student up with another classmate who has an easier time understanding what they are reading or writing.
One student will read while the other takes notes or writes down ideas. You could even have one student speak out loud, while another follows along in silence encourage all students to offer suggestions about how to solve problems or answer questions. This strategy often works best for those who struggle most with reading comprehension.